hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well so i want to make some pickles i'm gonna be pickling some onion cucumbers and carrots so that's what i'm doing today guys and so let's get this video started now i'm starting by let me show you what i'm starting with so guys i'm starting by sterilizing my jars and you can also do this in the oven so this is where it all begins and let's start pickling so I'm starting by grating two carrots and just grate them and then I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of salt. Don't worry about the salt guys, you're going to be washing it off. So just mix it up and then leave it in the fridge for about an hour or two and it's going to help release all the water in the carrots and this is going to help keep the carrots nice and crunchy after we pickle. So I'm covering it and then storing it in the fridge. Now we move on to the cucumbers and I'm just slicing them into thin slices or medium, kind of medium slices. And then I'm going to repeat the same process as I did with the carrots. I'm going to put them in a bowl, add salt, and then I'm going to cover them and put them in the fridge. Now you can already see that the cucumbers have started releasing the water because they usually have a lot of water. So just mix them up. I even went in and uh, started mixing with my hands. Mix them well just to make sure they are well coated with the salt and this is going to help release as much water as possible. Cover them up and then let them rest for about an hour or two. The next thing is onions. Here I'm using three onions. I'm just slicing them into thin slices. But for the onions I'm not going to be adding the salt. I'm just going to go ahead and just add the brine directly. So you don't need to add the salt for the onions. These are so delicious guys and just make sure you're using the red onions. I find them more yum than the white onion. So yeah, that's it guys. Now I was just waiting for that one. Now I was playing with pepper a bit. Now I decided to bake some bread guys. I'm just adding sugar, salt, yeast and water, flour and oil just direct. And I'm just going to put them in the food processor. Let them process away and then I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it rest for about an hour or two. By the time I'm done pickling, then I'm just going to go ahead and bake it. And that's about it, guys. So it's been about one hour and a half and uh, my cucumbers are ready. You can see how much water they've released because they have so much water. So this is going to help them stay nice and crunchy. So just pour this water and wash them thoroughly. You want to wash out all that salt uh, so that you don't have some salty and messed up <laughs> pickles. So just wash them, rinse them uh, thoroughly and you're going to have nice uh, cucumbers. So the next thing now I'm just going to make the brine and I'm adding 2 cups of water, 2 cups of vinegar and I'm adding 2 tablespoons of salt. Now these measurements can vary depending on your ingredients and how much uh, is the quantity but this is what I used for the quantity, the small amounts that I had here. So just mix it and let it come to a boil and your brine is ready. So once that has boiled the next thing now is to put our pickles and I'm starting by, by putting the carrots. I'm adding some crushed garlic, then I'm adding some bay leaves, and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, and that's it guys, you just choose your spices, or if you don't like the spices, you can just uh, add your brine directly, and you're good to go. So I'm just going to layer them, um, the spices and the carrots, and uh, that's it guys, I just add the hot water, leave it for some hours to completely cool down, then I'm going to cover it and put it away in the fridge. The next thing is to do the same thing for all the others, For it's the same thing I'm doing for the onions. I'm just maybe going to change the spices a little bit, like for the onions I'm just using uh, garlic, crushed garlic, some thyme and some basil. Just layer them the same way, add the brine and these onions are ready guys, the onions are my favorite. And then also do the same thing for the cucumber. I just added garlic, some basil and layered them a bit and that was it guys. Adding the brine and all the pickles are ready guys. So I'm just going to leave them for a few hours to rest until they're completely cooled down. That's when I'm going to close them up and they are good to go guys. So I hope you enjoyed them guys. And by this time the bread is ready. So that's about it guys, it was a nice pickling day, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll be more than happy to have you guys join this awesome family. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!